Hello friends, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because it is a 1940s book haul and all of the ones here that I'm going to be showing you are in my shop for you to purchase. Quickly, I'm gonna show you the pile. My voice is getting quiet because I have to step away from the camera. The pile of ones that I kept for myself, which is more than I was planning on, honestly. Um, but they were so incredible that I had to choose some to keep for myself. So these are the ones that I've got for you. It was a lot of, I think there was like 42 different books. So you can click my shop link below. And then if you go to the sections, if you go to the used book and magazine section, that's where all of the ones that have not sold yet are. So that's the easiest way to find them amongst everything else. So we are going to start with Jasper Giraffe. Um, these books are all pretty much in craft condition. There's, you know, wear and some of them are falling apart. <laughs> they are very old. So I'm not going to mention every little thing. Just assume that they're in craft condition. So this is a 1949. And look at the colors in this and the patina of the papers and the cute little animals. I mean, this would be the most adorable baby book, junk journal. Take these pages out, rip them up, collage them in your junk journals. Ah, oh, I love this. I almost kept this one, but there was a similar one that I kept and I thought I would share this one for you, um, for you guys. I'm going to be doing a video soon, hopefully in the next couple weeks, about how to um, turn one of these old covers into a junk journal. So how we can keep it from falling apart, what we can do to protect it, stuff like that. So I do have that coming up. So if you want to grab any old books because of the covers, now you can make sure that you hit that little bell by the subscribe button to be notified when my new videos come up. That way you can catch that tutorial. You're going to hear little boy talking in the background because my boys are playing right here, not too far from me. So that's Jasper Giraffe. Then this one is Wiggletail, and I also almost kept this one because of this cute little puppy. You guys, look at him. So cute. This is a 1944. Look at those pictures. They are so sweet, and every page has a picture. I mean, I love this book. I love, love this book. So, oh, yeah, as you can see, this is craft condition, but look at the little squirrel. Okay, so cute. So this one is called Wiggle Tail from 1944. Then there's the story of our army. If you wanted to do one uh, junk journal for a boy, like a grandson or a nephew or something like that, this would be a great one for that. Or if you just like different history books and pages and things like that, there's some beautiful illustrations. And let's see, this is 1942. And then there's some text and some beautiful pictures like Paul Revere and, um, you know, this. Revolutionary War, beautiful, beautiful pictures in here. So there's that one, and you could definitely rescue that cover for an adorable little boy junk journal. Then there's Rowdy. This is a horse one. Very, very sweet, 1946. And again, if you love animal pictures, and I love 1940s illustrations, so I was very happy to find all of these. Really, really super adorable. And then there's Peter, Pat, and the Policeman, which would also be a great one for a little boy junk journal. And then you have some adorable images in here. And this is a 1948. It's like try to read Roman numerals on the spot. But beautiful, beautiful vintage images. And then look at this one, guys. The little puppy who would not mind his mother. <laughs> So cute. This, these are the Wonder Books with the washable covers. Really cute. What's neat about this one is there's no name there. So that's awesome. And 1949. But look at these. There's like black and white ones as well as color ones. Look at those flowers. I almost kept this book just because of that flower page. But I have, you know, when you have enough books, you have to be super picky about what you choose. And I bought this lot to sell. So... Yeah, so adorable. And then here's King and the Princess. And I think I have two of these, so another one's gonna come up. Um, but really pretty end papers. This is 
19... Oh, this is a 38, 1938, I think, really pretty old um, illustrations in this one, Cozy Corner Series. And then we have an old little golden book. This is not a reprint. This is an old Little Pee Wee the Circus Dog. And this one is a 1934 and then this one, I guess, was reprinted or, oh, so first it was 1934 and it was called Now Open the Box. And then they reprinted it in 48 as the circus dog. So this is a 1948, cute little circus illustrations, pretty, pretty colors. If you've seen the movie, The Greatest Showman, um, you might enjoy doing a circus themed journal. I love that movie. The soundtrack's like my favorite. So then there's Bobby and his airplanes, which would also be amazing for a little boy. And there's no name written in the front here. 1949. And then there's just like airplanes and it's like this whole story. And then there's the runaway lamb at the country fair from the Walt Disney motion, motion picture. So dear to my heart. We used to watch this movie all the time when I was growing up. And... So this is like a 49 as well. Cute little um, illustrations. Really adorable. This cute little lamb. And then there is, this is one is through the picture frame. And it has some crayon scribbling on the front. So I don't think the cover is really salvageable. But there's some really pretty pictures in here. This is a 46. And... Um, there's some really cute pictures that are already a perfect size for cutting out for like a journal card or something like that. There's a little, little mermaid. Super cute. So it's just an imaginative. This is from the Walt Disney's Little Library. The Little Golden Holiday Book. Again, no name in this one, so that's wonderful for reusing the cover. And it looks like it's a 51 in 1951. There's Valentine's Day and Easter, the 4th of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So if you like to do holiday journals, this should get you pages for all of the holidays. Here's another King and the Princess. So I have quantity two of those. This one is called Nursery Tales. And... It's a 43, looks like. Here's Tom Thumb. And the Elves in the Shoemaker. The three Billy Goats Gruff. Looks like we got Rapunzel. The Golden Goose. That might be the last one. Yep, the Golden Goose. So there's that one. And then here is a Mother Goose book, 1940s, 46. I really like this one, and I almost kept it, but I do have some Mother Goose books. So I wanted to share this one with you guys. There's the three little kittens and the old woman who lived in a shoe, and there's both black and white and color illustrations, lots in here. Adorable, adorable, Hucklebones. Look at that book, I mean, so cute. I love this type of illustration, and then these have, they're perfect for like farmyard, barn, horses. Look at these rabbits. So cute. I almost kept the book just for that page, but can't keep every book. So cute. This one's cute for a boy as well, the two little miners. So if you're looking to make Christmas presents for um, your family members and there's little boys and you think that they'd like an art journal or a journal to put stickers and draw in and stuff like that, like my boys would love um, that kind of a thing. There's a whole bunch of boy options here so you can do ones for girls and for boys. Definitely adorable. So I like these illustrations. This would make a really, really fun journal. Uh, 1949. And then there's Tommy's Wonderful Rides, which is another great one for a little boy. 1948. Of course, these are also just good if you enjoy um, making little golden book junk journals. Here's an adorable Hansel and Gretel. I really thought seriously about keeping this one. Uh, 
1943. I love these illustrations. Make such an adorable journal. Or, of course, just take it apart and use it in lots of different journals. That's normally what I do. And then we have the story of Jesus, if you're looking for a Christmas one. 1946. Look at these. So beautiful. This would make such a lovely, lovely addition to any Christmas journal. And then we have the greedy pig. This one's old. 48. I guess they're all old. But look at those. They're so cute. The little pigs. Oh my word. And then there's little Hank. This one's pages are out too. 1948. Cute, cute. Love the color scheme in this one. Really bright and cheery and fun. Then there's Lucky Four Leaf Clover. And I think I have two of these. Really pretty. I really like this one too. 1949. Cute little boy and girl pictures, nature pictures. Really cute. Here's, and they're all falling over. Okay, then there's Walt Disney's Bongo. This one is really old, you guys. 1948. Again, those pages are out of the book. But just cute little cartoon illustrations. Then there's Tommy Tractor. Again, that one's falling apart. And the pages are too, but they're so many beautiful vintage illustrations you will not want to miss. And then this way to the zoo. I love this one. <laughs> So cute, those animals and kids. 48, and then there's another Lucky Four Leaf Clover. Five Little Firemen. Uh, 48. So cute, cute illustrations. Then there's the alphabet from A to Z. 42, 1942. There's just all the letters, and some are in color, and some are in black and white. So many illustrations. And then there's Jerry at School, 1950. And this was one that used to have, like, a puzzle. They don't have the pieces anymore, but it's still a really cool page, and I'm sure you could do something with it. I love the mother's hat. <laughs> little green dress. So really, really cute illustrations in here and then there's gingerbread man the ugly duckling and this is a 1949 and I love the illustrations in this one as well look at the cat and the horse and the ducks beautiful so I hope you really enjoyed looking at this haul with me please uh, go ahead and check the link below and Get the ones that you want so I can get them out in the mail to you. And I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite book from this whole um, stash was. And if you want to see a flip through of the ones that I kept, let me know in the comments below. And I might do that if I get a chance.